As you guys know, I was doing chambers to get fangs. Um, we didn't manage to get 5,000, which is the amount to mount the talisman, which is the whole reason why I wanted to do it. But we do have like 3.7 thousand, I think. Hang on, let me just quickly check in here. Plus a thousand. Uh, three, six, eight, one. So we only need like 1.3k. It's not that bad. I'll have to do stone chests for it. But honestly, I was kind of expecting to do that anyway. I just really hoped I get lucky on fangs. So what the main process now is clearing up as much inventory space as possible so that um, I am not death storage anymore and I actually have some invent space to work with. The reason for that is because stone chests, even though there is technically a method of doing it safely, it is just not worth the risk of wiping the account. So I'm not going to do that. In the means of cleaning up the inventory, I'm going to need to get rid of this Stardust. I was going to get 100k of it, but there's no point wasting my time mining another 16,500 for absolutely no reason. So we're going to go and spend a bunch of that on uncut gems, which are going to go in our stacks of gems, which we've got pretty nice stacks of. It's going to do really well for crafting. And the big one that I'm dreading doing, we need to sell the javelin heads. Not entirely sure that this is the greatest idea, but I'm going to sell 50 a world. This is going to take a very long time. I have a hundred thousand to sell. <sighs> Let's get this done. Ah, wonderful. I did wonder when this was going to happen. I've done about 27,000 so far out of 100k and I've been locked out. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit for the, uh, the world hopping timer to cool down and uh, then I'll be able to continue. This is taking a while. All right, that's it. I had a break, came back, and I've got the logout thing again. So I am just going to go ahead and do something else because I want to be productive. And at the moment, I'm just having to sit around and wait for the timer to go, which is just getting really annoying. Why am I leaving here? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go probably sort out some of the stuff in this looting bag because I want to get rid of the cut gems. I'm going to sort out these uncut gems later. I've got a plan for them. But these guys are just kind of taking up space, so I think I'm going to death storage again, and uh, we'll fix up everything we've got here. Actually, maybe I should spend my Stardust first. Yeah, I'll do that. Dear God, that Stardust gave me so many gems. Oh my Lord, look at how many I've got. I don't think I get that much from just AFKing stars. I've still got 39 dust left, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that into the ring. And that way it's not wasted. Uh, although I probably won't be using the ring very much at all for a while now. But still, look at all those gems that we've got from that. Added on to our current stacks that are in here, we are going to have a lot of crafting XP waiting to be used. Oh dear god, whoever's idea it was to sell 50 a world is a complete moron. It definitely wasn't my idea. But we did manage to get ourselves a lot of cash out of this. Now I am carrying 23 million GP, but I also have... Oh, 24 million, just count me wrong there. I also have a massive chunk inside uh, my dev storage right now. I think it's like 12 mil in there. Something on the lines of that. And then I also think I have another, like a another 24 mil inside LMS. So I think we're probably looking close to 60 mil cash on this account now, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a lot of money and probably more than I'm ever really going to need. Um, but that is also that cleared up now. I'm probably going to go sell this room pickaxe. I'll end up buying it back later because some other stuff I need, but I really need to trim down the items that I have. So that I can finish collecting the Lizardman Fangs, which is not really a grind I'm looking forward to, but I need to mitigate any kind of loss if I'm going to die. I think I'm also going to get myself some Gothic's Rests as well. Right, so I should have this set up correctly this time. Um, I did do this before, but it didn't seem to work. I'm hoping that they are unaggressive now. We are now going to start the process of collecting about 1.3 thousand Lizardman Fangs. Um, I will say that the rates have helped me out in some sense. Uh, it did give me a very good head start, even if it didn't do the whole process. I'm hoping this doesn't take too long, because I don't really enjoy doing this. Well, what do you know? It does work. Hopefully they stay this way, because I would much rather not uh, die and drop all my stuff and have to get another looting bag. Because that means doing more LMS, and you guys know how I feel about that. Oh my god, of course I got a talisman. I knew this was going to happen. I am six fangs away from being done, and I just got a talisman. So now I have an extra 94 fangs. <laughs> hey, whatever, I'm done with this grind now. I'm happy about it. Um, what I am going to do, though, because you guys have probably seen I've got a bunch of clues. Uh, I'm planning to complete this medium clue scroll. But to do that, I kind of want to get teleported out, because I'm not quite sure if I go through here where that will actually take me. And... 
I kind of want to make sure that I don't like re-aggro the lizard men while trying to escort all of these clues out of here. Currently, they're actually sat outside, so don't worry, I haven't lost them. There we go, finally, thank you. Right, so the next step is to plant ourselves some belladonna, because I'm going to be needing some nightshade to make poison dynamite. Uh, I probably should have done this prematurely, because it takes like six hours to grow, but we're here now, and I'm going to have to do it. Uh, the reason I didn't want to do this too early is because until I had everything in the looting bag, I was worried I was going to get stuck on a tree in here and die, which without paying attention is easily possible. I don't know when I did this, but there's belladonna here, so I guess that works. Nice. All right, I guess we're doing the medium clue then. Uh, I do need to do a farm run as well, but I'll do that over time. I'm not in too much of a rush. Uh, so the first one is Feisty in Feld of Hills. So I'm going to do the one thing that I rarely ever do, and that is use one of these teleports. I could use my Hunter Cape, but I think this is closer. Do you know what? We'll just use it. I never use these, so... Oh, God, this is an awful place to put me. Never mind, Hunter Cape would have put me right here, so it didn't really make much difference. Oh, that's Oracle. Okay, I could do the second step of this. I didn't actually need the five that I've got. Naturally, of course I get the casket here. So I, I only needed one clue for this entire thing, and now I have another four clues on the floor. For absolutely no reason. I predicted this would happen as well. Well, I, I had number five, apparently. Oh, I had six? I guess I'm doing a second medium then. Ah, <sighs> fine. Let's do this. Barrack. Drop. Let's go. Dropped. Dropped. What the heck is... What? What am I... What is this? Alright then. Hey, another casket. There we go. Alright, one more clue, but I've only got two, two clues that I can actually do, so... We'll hope that we get lucky with a back-to-back, -back, because if neither of these are a back-to-back, -back, then this clue is dead. Unfortunately. That's another casket. Oh, right, yeah, we, we only have one clue now, I realize, yeah, because I'll always lose a clue. I'm going to go grab that clue off the floor, and then we will open our caskets. Now, my invent is actually kind of clogged, so maybe I shouldn't do this just yet. Whoa, I never actually looked at how much money we've got. We're at 62.5 mil GP. I just come over here because I need to take out some money for the gold leaf, I think it is, that's required to mount the Zurich Talisman. Honestly, I have no idea yeah, no idea how much it costs. I think it's like 100k, but I'm going to take out a meal and I'll just put back whatever I've got left over. Let's get this talisman mounted. You know, it's just occurred to me that I'm really glad I brought out way too much money because I believe I need to build a nexus room for this. And there is no way I already have one of those. Why would I have that on a skiller? So we're going to go ahead and build that so I can finally mount the talisman. Oh, it's finally done. Build, mounted, Xerox, talisman... All those raids were worth it. We can finally use this uh, configuration. We got all of these teleports. We also do have Xerox Honor because we did get the tablet while doing chambers. So we do have ourselves five new teleports in the house. And that's a really nice one to have. And now for the part that I've been absolutely dreading. For some of the content coming up, I'm going to need myself some recoils. And the only way for me to get them is from Magpie Implings. That's right. We are doing Puro Puro. God, I hate this place. Hey, finally. My God, this has taken way too many implings. Although I actually think I'm... I'm dead on drop rate. What am I talking about? It just feels like it's taken way too many implings. But we do have the recoils now. Uh, let's open these, see if we can get some more. That's eclectic. Nope. And nope. But we still do have the three rings of recoil, which should do for what I need. So I'm going to clear out the rest of this, and we are going to head over to Sorceress's Garden so I can stack up on some Gothic's Rests. Right, we are almost prepared to take on my first objective, and that is going to be a Twilight's Promise. Now, I've wanted to do this quest for a while, but because of the slight danger in it and the fact that uh, I was death storage, not able to get everything in the loot bag, it didn't feel appropriate at the time. But right now, I'm going to be making some Gothic's Rests, as you can see by the herbs here, and I've already mentioned... Um, so that we can take on the Knight of Valmore, because I believe that is going to be the biggest struggle in all of the upcoming objectives. I think before I get Twilight's Promise started, I'm just going to finish off these clues. I'll see how far I can get with this one. If I can't do it, then I can't do it. But we will then open up the medium clues and see what we can get from them. I've done this one before. Ooh, we got the caskets. Nice. So we actually managed to get four caskets out of six clues. That's pretty huge. 
I'm going to head over to Hosidius. We're going to store these capes. We've got a little bit more inventory space. I should probably store this with the Leprechaun as well. And then we're going to open up these and store the uniques, if we get any, in the house. All right, four medium clues. Let's see what we get from the caskets. Number one. Beautiful. Number two. Even more beautiful. Number three. That's a master clue. Probably not going to do that. And number four. We didn't get a single thing I can store in the house. This game is a scam. Alright, well, my remaining Guam should be ready in the next 15 or so minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start Twilight's Promise and I'm going to basically complete the parts that I can without fighting the Knight of Valamor. And then I'm going to finish making the Guthix Rest and then we will take on said Knight of Valamor. That is the one fight that I'm worried about the most. I don't think it's going to be that bad, but I feel like of everything, it's probably going to be the biggest hurdle. Right, okay, so that is every night done except for the Colosseum one, I think. Let's just double check. What bit of lag? There's so much lag in Volumor, man. Right, so it's just the Colosseum one left, which is obviously the one that we're going to struggle with. So, uh, I'm going to go and finish getting my Guams. We're going to make uh, my full stack of 52 Gothix Rests, and then we are going to be taking on the biggest hurdle. Right, there's one more tiny thing I want to do before we go ahead and do Twilight's Promise. I am going to be needing to death pile, and the one thing that I've always wanted to do on this account is set my respawn to Edgeville. And as you can see, we've got 61.4 mil, and I believe that it's 5 mil to do this. Although, I don't actually know who I talked to. I think it's someone in Edgeville? Is it Crystalia? I don't know. I'm going to go have a look. We're going to figure this out, and I'm going to move my respawn to Edgeville. Okay, it's not Crystalia. What the heck do I talk to to move my respawn point? You? Oh, I see. Sorry, I'm completely blind. There, okay, Crystalia does give me the option. Tell me more. She should charge me 5 mil, and I believe this unlocks it forever, even if I move it. Switch my respawn to Edgeville, and there is a big reason why I want to do this. And that is because there are nettles right next to the respawn point. So it's really easy to death pile now. Uh, Lumbridge was a little bit inconvenient because I'd have to go to like the mugger and stuff, but this is going to be way easier to death pile, which is something I'm going to be needing to do quite a lot. All right, time to death pile. All right, I'm pretty nervous about messing this up. Not so much because I'll lose my stuff, more so because I'll have to go and get more poison dynamite and more Guthix Rest, and it's just... I don't want to have to do that. All right, let's do this. Wish me luck, guys. He does not run. Okay, can I get him stuck? Oh god. He hits from range, what the heck? Please tell me he hasn't got smart pathing. He has smart pathing, this is awkward. <laughs> oh no! Okay, we can... <laughs> well, this is the plan now. Um... Okay. So I can do this to get back energy. Also, how long does that stay? Okay, it is an instance one, so it's going to stay there for a long time. I need to do this and then run. We cannot reach that from here. He's right in front of me. What are you on about? Why is it not? Can I not use? Okay, it did work. Right. At zero, or just didn't hit, I guess. Missed again. Okay, this is a lot worse than I thought it'd be. I was hoping I could get him stuck in a corner. Can I use it? This is bugging out like crazy. It just won't let me use it half the time. Use the dynamite! Oh, I hit it! Please land the poison. I just need the poison to go off. If the poison ticks, we can just do this for the entire kill. Well, I mean, I'd need to recoil a little bit, but... Please be poisoned. It's a 25% chance. <gasps> He's poisoned! That's all we needed. Now we need to let him hit us a little bit. This is going to be so painful and long. <laughs> Alright, hit me again. Okay, we keep alive. I'm going to have to walk this pillar until he dies from poison. He's so close. Finish the kill. Die. He's dead. 
Yes! The hardest part of this quest, I'm pretty sure, is done. Oh, that was a lot rougher than I thought it would be. But we've done it. Let's go finish the quest with the last few steps. We have 19 minutes. Okay, so now the cultists attack. And we hide around the corner, I think. Yeah, like this. Okay, this was my plan before. The only problem is this is going to take a while, and I only have 19 minutes before I need to redo my death pile. So, we're going to give this a try, and if I get low on time, I'm going to teleport out, reset the death pile, and then we'll send it again with the full hour, which should be plenty of time. I could run through the NPC so they could all pile on him. Is that dangerous? We're going to do it for fun. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> problem solved. Speed it up a little bit. And there we go. Cultist defeated. I did all the hard work. They did absolutely nothing. And there we go. Twilight's Promise is completed. It's a quest that I did want to get done for quite some time, but obviously Death Storage did prohibit me from that. Although I didn't die during this quest, so technically I could have still done it, but I really didn't want to take that risk. Quest complete. Right, next on the list of things I want to do is uh, Perilous Moons. We're not going to complete the quest, of course, but I do want to get access to Cam Torum, which means we have to defeat a Sulfur Nagua. So I'm going to go ahead and start this quest, and we are going to try. And our utmost to uh, to beat this thing, I don't really know how well this is going to go, but I do know that it is initially unaggressive, which is a lot nicer than the previous guy. Perfect, right. So, is he poisoned? Because if he's poisoned, uh, we are in the best case possible. He is poisoned! Wow, we got first try poison on both? That's insane! Okay, so we're going to need to recoil him down a little bit, but apart from that, we, this should be done. Two dynamite? That's all it took? One more take of poison and we should be done. And the Sulfanagra is down! That was way easier than that should have been. I'm so glad, because I was so nervous about doing this, but we should now have access to Camtorum, which is basically the only thing I wanted from this quest. There we go, we have ourselves access to Camtorum. Beautiful. And lo and behold, we can enter Camtorum. What a cool place to unlock on a skiller. Yay! <laughs>